I was thrifting and I found this a really cool safari dress, but it's just a little bit too big. If I turn it around to the back, you can see it's got a lot of extra fabric here. So today I'm going to show you how to add back darts to a dress so it fits you perfectly. Today I'm going to be demoing here on the dress form so you can see it really well, but if you don't have a dress form, you can totally do this on yourself and if you grab a friend to help you, it'll be even easier. To start, you want to turn your dress inside out, try it on, or put it on your dress form. Now, now, it's going to be easier to mark it and sew it if you have it inside out, but if your dress for whatever reason can't be worn inside out, totally okay. You can mark this all on the outside of your dress as well. The sewing lines will be exactly the same. You'll just need to transfer them to the inside later on. One of the key things to keep in mind when tailoring something is you don't want to pull it off balance. So if I was to pull this too much over to the left, you're going to notice these drag lines that start to happen and you can see my seam is no longer at center. So the best thing to do if you're trying this on yourself right now is wear a tight bodysuit or a tank top and I you to pin the side seams in the center back to the shirt that you have on. So to avoid doing that, let me show you exactly what you need to do. To keep this all symmetrical, we're going to add some pins. I'm going to add some pins at center back so that way it does not move on us. And then I'm going to add some pins at the side seam. So I'll turn this to the side. Let me pop up my sleeve. There we go. And now I'm going to feel in the dress form where the side seam is. Again, if this is on you, just pin it to the side seam of the shirt you have on. There we go. And now you can see all of this extra that we have in here. And see now when I grab this, I don't get weird drag lines. It's going to stay right where it needs to be. Now that we're all set up, it's time to make some back darts and make this excess disappear. So to create the dart, we want to figure out how much fabric we want to take in. And when we do this, we want to put the dart princess line is on the dress form or if you don't have a dress form think about putting it in the center of this panel we're working with from side seam to center back so we're putting it there because that's where it traditionally goes but you can put darts wherever you like and if you wanted you could even create many darts not just one but putting it in the center of this panel is going to be the most traditional and foolproof so where do we start to get rid of all of this excess fabric i really like to start at the waist so you can take the fabric at the waist and drape it over to that point. So the key to this is to make sure that everything stays nice and smooth. So if I take this and squeeze it real tight, you can start to see these drag lines in here. These drag lines mean that I am pulling too tight. So we want to loosen up a little bit. And then when it looks smooth, go ahead and take your pin, put it in, and put it out. So this here is the waist on the dress form. And now you can see all this extra that starts to form at the top and at the bottom. So we are going to keep pinning and we are creating a fisheye dart here today. And we're gonna go right up to the shoulder blade. Generally this dart goes about midway up into the armhole, maybe a little bit less. It really depends on how much you need to take in. Now we're gonna work our way from the waist up and we're going to pin the seam line. So we're pinning this intake. And as we all know, a dart is an intake of fabric to create shape. So we are pinning the excess. And we're gonna pin the excess till we can't pin anymore because we want this to be nice and smooth and just blend right into this dress. So pin as far as you can. We're gonna go back later with some rulers and really smooth this out. Adjust the pins if necessary. Sometimes you put in a pin and you decide you need to move it. You might be wondering why I chose to pin it in this shape exactly. Well, you really want to let the dress dictate the shape for you. It's really going to depend on the fabric it's made out of. It's going to depend on how the panels were cut. The main thing you want to look for is making sure it's smooth and it's being taken in as you're pinning. So I was paying attention to my dress and this is the line that I got. Now we're going to continue pinning to the bottom so that way we can take it in a little bit below the waist. And you could also stop pinning at the waist and just let the volume be open here. And this is going to look a little bit more like a dart tuck if you do it that way. And if you don't know what a dart tuck is, make sure you check out the video for that. There'll be a link down below in the description. To continue our back dart, I'm going to keep pinning till about the hip level. Now I do want to leave some room in here. I don't want this dress skin tight. so. Going to be pinning out and it might look a little pointy here but we're going to blend that out when we're on the table with our chalk and rulers OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like that. I do have a little more booty than this dress form here. So that will be a fairly nice flat line on me. So you can really see how this dart is taking in the fabric and creating more shape in the body of the dress. We've got our dart on this side and we've got no dart on this side. So if you're pinning on a dress form, you're basically done. We've got all the pins perfectly where we need them. And we're going to replicate this dart on the other side on the cutting table. But if you're trying this on yourself, you really want to go ahead and pin up this other dart and just make sure the dress feels comfortable. And don't worry about it being perfect right now because we're gonna even that out on the cutting table. So let's get this dress off the dress form and start chalking and truing it up. Now grab a ruler and your fabric marker or chalk and I'm gonna show you how to mark up this dart and transfer it to the other side of your dress. Now what we wanna do is mark where every single pin is on the front where the head of the pin is and on the back, just right under where the little pin is. You're gonna do this to every single pin that you put in to the dress. Now you definitely did not pin this perfectly and that's okay. We are going to straighten it out with our ruler next. And while I'm here, I also like to put a line where this fold is. This ideally is the center of my dart. So we can use this as a guide when we unpin. Again, you don't have to make it super perfect. We can use our rulers to even it out. Okay. So now that I have the front of the pin marked, the back of the pin marked, and the fold line, we can remove the pins. So I'm gonna take out all of my pins and we're gonna check out this dart that we added to the back of our dress. You're not gonna believe it. It's gonna be so cool. And there it is, check that out. Now that we have all those spots marked, I'm gonna show you how to true this up and make it into a real dart. And then how to get this dart in the exact same spot on the other side of the dress. The first thing I wanna do is straighten out that center line. So make sure you're using a ruler that's long enough and just straighten out that center line. So there were a few spots that were off, a little wobbly, so that's why we straighten it out. Now what we wanna do are straighten out these side lines and we want them to meet at the tip at the top and the tip at the bottom. Now we also want them to be the same distance from the center out when we do this. So we wanna start at the center of the dart, which is right here where these little plus signs are, and we're going to measure it from mark to mark. So I have three and a quarter going across, and it's not perfectly symmetrical right now, it's at inch and a half, and it's actually an inch and five eighths from the center point on both sides. So I'm just gonna remark that. I'm actually gonna draw a line all the way across at my center line here. I'm also gonna just rebalance that out a little bit. And now I wanna mark an inch and five eighths, and I'm going to mark an inch and five eighths. So now I have these new lines here drawn. So now I know I can go from the widest point Up the widest point here, which was at the waist, and I'm going to line it up with the tip at the bottom of the dart and draw a straight line. And you can see how this straightens it out. It did go through a few of our points and it missed a few and that's okay because we rebalanced it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so you can see it. Here we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the top of the dart. So now we're gonna find the top point and we're gonna blend it into the widest point which is at that waist. And now we're gonna do that to the other side as well. Here we go. So you can see we balanced our dart and it did make some changes and that's totally okay. We're still gonna get a good fit. We're actually gonna get a better fit because we did this. And if you don't know, fisheye dart has four major points. It's got the two points at the waist, it's got a point at the top and a point at the bottom. This is also referred to as a double-ended dart, a double-pointed dart, or the fisheye dart. So now that we have one dart perfectly marked out, we have to get it to the other side of the dress perfectly. How are we going to do that perfectly? Well, I've got a really easy solution for you. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you like and subscribe to Sew Anastasia. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're looking to perfect your sewing skills, make sure you check out the Sew Anastasia Sewing Academy. There's a link for that down below in the description. Now let's get back to transferring that dart to the other side of the dress.
First thing we need to do is take the dress and we need to fold it in half and make sure the dart that you traced out is visible to you. Now, right now, it's lumpy, it's wrinkly, it is not perfectly folded in half. So I want you to take all of your seams, I want you to pin them nice and flat so that way this dart ends up perfectly flat. And find your side seams. This side seam here, make sure that you're pinning it right on top of the existing side seam on the other side. That way you're going to guarantee that it is pinned directly in half and it's going to be in the right place. And don't just put one pin, put multiple pins. Pin all the way up the side seam. If you've got a center back, fold that in half and pin up your center as well. You can already see that this is flattening out. I turned it around so you can see it better and you can really see now how this is starting to lay flat. I am also going to pin the armhole seam together so that way I can make sure they are the same distance from the armhole. Okay, now that you have both layers nice and flat, we are actually going to pin through the points that we have here so that way we can mark them on the other side. And to do this, we only need to pin the four points, two at the middle and the two at the ends. So I'm going to put the needle in where I want my point to be so that when I flip it over, I know exactly where to mark. Okay, now that I have the four points marked, we're going to flip it over. But you had to see, but I have my four pins, two at the ends and two in the middle. So I'm going to mark right where the pin comes into the fabric. That's my point. So we're just going to mark these four spots here. Okay, I've got those marked. And now we can connect our lines. We're gonna connect that diamond shape. So we're connecting the waist to the point down here. We're connecting this waist down here to the point. And then we're going to do the same thing for the top. There we go. Now we have our fisheye dart on the other side. Wasn't that easy? We now have two back darts. Now I'm gonna go over how to sew up the fisheye darts. Before we sew it, we need to pin it. And to pin it, I'm going to fold it at that center line that I drew. Now the first pin I want to put in is going to be at the center to make sure it's balanced. So put it in and make sure it's coming out in the correct spot on the other side. Then go ahead and put your pin in. Now I'm going to pin the end. So I'm going to pin the bottom of the dart tip. And now I'm gonna pin the top of the dart tip. Okay, so now I have my three pins in it. If you want, you can put more pins in the middle, go through the dart leg that you drew, make sure it's coming out in the same spot on the other side. If it is excellent, it's balanced. If not, go ahead and just move it over a little bit. So that way it's nice and flat. You can see we have no weird twists or wrinkles in this. It is nice and flat. Now we're gonna start sewing from the tip to the waist to the other tip. We're going to be using the line we drew as our sewing line. When we start, we're gonna start at the very, very edge of the fabric. So take your hand wheel, pull the needle down into the very edge of the fabric, get a few stitches going forward, add a few stitches backwards to secure it, and then follow that line you drew. When you get to your pins, remove them. You get to the center of the waist, leave your needle in, lift your foot up and turn. We are going to blend right off of the fabric at the tip. So I like to come one stitch off to make sure I've completed my dart and then I'll add a couple back stitches and cut. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have the dart sewn up, we need to clip into them so that way they release and form our body really nice. So let me show you how to do that. If your darts are really small, you might not need to do this, but I have a really big gap of fabric in here and it's not gonna lay around the body unless we clip into it. So I'm gonna cut into the underlay, staying about an eighth of an inch away 
from the stitch there and I'm gonna cut into it every inch and a half or so until we get to the bottom of it where it's real small down here we don't really need to but this is a giant dart so I'm putting a handful of cuts in it up to the stitching line okay so now that I have these clips in here, watch what happens when I pull this straight. You can see these gaps that happen in the fabric. That's what we're releasing by cutting into this. And with these giant flaps in here, I would also cut these down and finish the edge. So we can cut off some of these flaps of fabric. We do not need to keep these on the inside of the dress. There we go. Now you want to do the exact same thing to your other dart if it was really big. I'm going to finish my edges of the dart with the serger, just cleaning up those edges so they don't fall apart on me when I wash it. And then we get to try it on the dress form and see what a transformation we have made. We have basically taken in that waist over six inches. What a difference from this before dress. Remember how big and boxy it was? And now it's nice and tailored to the body, but it's not too tight. It's not being pulled skin tight to the body, but it's really going the shape of the body nicely and we still have the integrity of the design here with this top flap and the sleeves and the hips and everything our box pleat so all we've done is really tailored this up a bit by getting rid of some of that extra fabric in the back this method is great for taking in that extra fabric on a dress when you don't have a seam there or you don't have an existing dart there. You can still add shape to the garment. And if you do have a dress that has existing seams there, I do have a few other videos on tailoring up dresses with seams. So make sure you check those out and we'll put those down below in the description so that way you can visit them. I also wanted to know if you'd like to see a video on how to take in the back of a dress that has a waist seam. So it's a little bit of a different process if your dress has a waist seam. So if you'd like to see that video on tailoring up the back of a dress with a waist seam, let me know and leave that down below in the comments so that way I know if I should add it to my shooting list or not. Thank you for watching So Anastasia today. If you have any questions on the process of adding back darts to a dress, let me know in the comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed the video today, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video and hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Me and Iris appreciate it so much. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the socials so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, you can come on into the design studio here in Chicago and take sewing classes and design classes with me in person. And if you don't live here, totally okay. We now started the Sewing Anastasia Sewing Academy. There's links for all of that down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye.